A lot of things come and go in Brawl Stars, and some of them are hated, and some of them are loved. So today we're going over the five most surprising things removed from Brawl Stars. Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. I'm Mystically19, and I make Brawl Stars vi videos almost daily. If you watch this one and seem to enjoy it, make sure you check out some other videos. They're really entertaining. Starting with number five, Showdown Plus. This was a bit of a controversial one, but me personally, I loved this game mode. Soon after I quit though, and this is probably one of the only things keeping me onto the game. Now I'm back into the game and I love it, by the way. Showdown Plus was just like normal Showdown, but you get extra trophies per kill and you lose one trophy for your death. This added a unique spin on the game and it also kind of helped take away teaming since you were more eager to get kills. This was the number one most played game mode for three days in a row. It was a pretty sick game mode. This made it kind of easier to push your brawlers up if you had someone like Shelly because she usually gets most of the kills in a game. A lot of people love this and were sad when it was taken away. But one thing people don't really miss is tap to move. Tap to move was exactly what it sounded like. And basically you just tap where you want your brawler to go. No one really used it at the time. Since you had the option between a joystick and tap to move. And tap to move was just a lot slower. And it didn't really help you throughout your gameplay. Here's a video of it if you'd like to see. Yeah, this was basically only used if you wanted to give your hands a break. This was eventually removed just because of how underused it was. And I understand this completely. Moving on to number three, safes. Safes were kind of like mega boxes, but they always guaranteed a brawler. These were from at least four years ago. They were pretty cool, but they costed a ton of gems because you know Supercell if you've ever played Clash Royale. Yeah, basically it would just give you a brawler and they were a few different types. There's common, rare, epic, and legendary, and uh, the brawlers coordinated with whatever safe you bought. In other terms, if you bought a legendary, you get a legendary brawler. If you bought an epic, you get an epic brawler and so forth. These were removed once they had more ideas for brawlers and they added more stuff into the game and were eventually were replaced by mega boxes. I can't remember if these were in the game whenever I played because I kind of only played whenever Brawl Stars just went global, which was about four years ago. If you don't believe me, I can show you I have the four year anniversary thing. Okay, moving on to number two, Star Points. Star Points were a really unique version of uh, bling in the game. You could buy so much stuff with it. Mega boxes, skins for your brawlers, and so much more. It was so useful and I loved the design of it because it was purple and it had a star in the middle of a coin. Also, instead of bling, you would get these from Power League and you get a lot more. Right now you're getting 250 bling per rank up. Back then you would get 50,000 star points if you got to the highest rank. This could buy you close to about 20 mega boxes. It was insane. If you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you like and subscribe. It really helps out a ton. So you can comment some video ideas down below because I'm always needing some more video ideas. Thank you guys so much for 750 subscribers. You guys mean a lot. Before we get to number one, make sure you guys subscribe. And now we are at number one mega boxes. There's not much to say about these. You can get literally anything from these. And it was always so much fun to see how many rewards you get. I'd always get so excited if I saw that number six in the back because it usually meant I got a new star power or even a new brawler. Over 70% of my brawlers are probably from mega boxes. They were so much fun. All right, thank you guys. See you later.